So this is U.S. Daily Express U.S. is trying to fearmonger people and falsely blame America for any going towards nuclear conflict because Russia has invaded Ukraine and they've done it because Ukraine doesn't have the nuclear power to basically be in a position where you won't mess with them like that. Ain't nobody going to come in here and invade America. Why? Because we got nukes. Ain't nobody going to go in there and invade Russia. Why? Because they got nukes. Ain't nobody going to go invade uh, China or any country with nukes. Why? Because they got nukes. I mean, it's sad that that's the age and era that, uh, that the world is in because one person invented nukes. And then the next thing you know, all these countries have them. But the countries that have them, okay, they ain't going in there and ain't invading them. Now, once upon a time, Ukraine was a superpower when it came to nukes. But they were also led by foolish people who trusted people like, I don't know, United States of America and other Western countries. Oh, we got your back. And they foolishly got rid of their nukes. And the next thing you know, here comes Russia invading them. And oh, sure, the U.S. has sent pledged billions of dollars, but they slow dripped support over there. They refused to give them air defense. They refused to let them join NATO. They refused to send them boots on the ground. And sure, they sent them supplies, but they did it in a way that was so slow that that Putin in Russia was able to get in there and displace millions of people, kill hundreds of thousands of people, do trillions of dollars worth of damage, and that's a defense for Ukraine? Really? Because if that's a defense... What really is offense? Oh, offense would be tricking you into getting rid of your nukes and then pretend like you're actually supporting Ukraine. Meanwhile, in America, you've got people bad-mouthing Ukrainian leader like, we're cutting you off. Uh, yeah, sure you are. Because guess what? He'll get his nukes. Zelensky will get his nukes because if the world's going to breach their contract to support them because they got rid of their nukes, if they're going to breach their agreement, then he has every right to breach his agreement, and they have a right to get nukes back. And Putin, in his fear-mongering, and try to scare people and bully people, like, well, I'll threaten you, America, we're going to nuke you over there. Yeah, all right, sure you are, Putin. Because you know, the first time one missile sh is shot off, that's the end of the world. This is literally the end of the world. The, Bi the, world said, the Bible says the world's going to end in fire. The world will end in fire. Because the Bible says so, it will end in fire. That will happen. So, this nuclear war? Like, you can't just sit there and let somebody take over a country, displace millions, that we've promised to support because you're afraid of a nuclear war. Well, nuclear war is going to happen anyways. You let this man continue to get in power and take more and get more powers. Yeah, that's right. He wants those nuclear places over there that are deactivated. Oh, yeah, you better believe it. You want to give that? You're just going to lay back and give that to Putin. Really, people? The foolishness of society. It's sad. The people that I see talking smack about Zelensky, in reality, he has every right to go get nukes. Because I guarantee you, if he had nukes, if they had nukes that they used to have, oh, Putin would never be doing what he's doing now. So, here's the thing. <laughs> U.S. has been given a chilly World War III by Christmas morning by pro-Putin. Oh, yeah, sure. It's not by pro- It's not by Putin himself, just his third party talking smack. Yeah, okay. If you haven't noticed for the last, I don't know, two years since he started in heavy invading Ukraine, he's been talking smack. He's been flexing his nuke muscles at us and the rest of the world and Western Europe. Okay, call him on his bluff. Kick his butt. Say, you know what, Putin? It's time to go. It's over. You got to go. He needs to be... People need to rise up and say, you know what? Get Putin out of Ukraine. Stop being wussies over there. Stop... Like, if he's going to make the world do nothing that they should have already been doing... Listen, we've sent hundreds of thousands to the point of millions over decades to the Middle East. Okay? So, if you've got one country doing something against another country over there. Here we come! There goes Mark over there in other countries by the hundreds of thousands over there in the Middle East to defend them. 
But yet we're bound to Ukraine because we caused them to be denuclearized and we're going to slow walk them. And then sit back and watch while millions of people are being displaced, lost their home, trillions of dollars of damage, slaughtered hundreds of thousands, and we're going to sit there and complain about sending them money. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay, then, y'all Putin supporters.